I'm Ole from Flitz. I'm here today to talk about all the marine care products that we manufacture now at Flitz. You know, Flitz is a 45 year old company. And fortunately, I've been able to have the whole ride, been with the company all those years. But the Flitz polish is what made us famous, which is actually a polishing cream like this. Now it comes in different sizes, comes in tubes and cans. But we're gonna show you here today, the Pace Pride is the, I call it Mercedes-Benz of our line. Now Flitz does make it a liquid, and I would call that the BMW. Not to knock the BMW owners out there, but the difference is this. The paste is a real concentrated version. It has a more of a thickness to it. The paste is a four to 5,000 grit product. The liquid Flitz is a diluted version. And the diluted, not in a bad way. What I'm saying is it's thinned out, it's thinner. So because it's thinner, you can actually use it um, in, for larger areas quicker and easier. You can use it with a damp cloth and it'll cover more area for you. But it's not quite, it doesn't have the, the consistency to do heavy, heavy duty polishing. And that's why the paste has always been a premier of flits. Now one of the things I want to show you today is on bow rails, your stanchions, your cleats, every, everything, all your marine hardware. You know, it's either stainless steel, polished chrome, polished aluminum, or even uh, called anodized aluminum, anodized finishes. Now, Flitz is safe in all those finishes. And the cool thing is you can use Flitz by hand or you can use it with a power buffer like this. And before I get to the buffer, I want to show you some quick show and tell by hand. We're going to do a little piece of stainless steel here. I just want to give you an example when you do this on a stainless steel stanchion like this. So you can put the Flitz on. And I'm going to use a actually a bamboo wipe. This is pretty cool. These are actually look like paper, they're soft, but they're a little more abrasive than a cloth. And they're washable, that's the cool thing about it, all environment friendly. When you put this on by hand, this takes off the oxidation, anything from sun, salt, spray, and everything else. You can take off the black oxide. In most cases, especially in salt water, you can get a little surface rust. Because stainless steel is exactly what it says, stainless, not stain proof. Anybody who owns a boat, you know exactly what I'm saying. You can have the best quality stainless steel, you're still going to have surface rust and things. But the flitz will bring it out to a mirror finish. The best part about it is when moisture hits this, I put a little water on over here. I have a little water bottle with a hole poked into it, just to give you an example how well this seals it. This protective coating is good for at least two to three months in salt water. We guarantee this finish in salt water for two to three months. My own boat in Florida, I have it underneath a canopy all year long. But being on a golf like that with all the salt air, you're going to get oxidation. And I do get a little surface rust. When I come back after six months, if I'm gone all summer long and I come back in the fall, that boat definitely needs a little tension. But it's powder rust. It comes off super, super easy. The Flitz is a great pride. It's not a miracle worker by no means, but it definitely will restore and bring everything back. That's the main thing about Flitz. It's a restoration product. Now, for those of you with the bigger boats, Especially if you have tuna towers and different things like that, your um, every area is large. This is a buff ball. And if you notice the shaft, this shaft is hex shaped. This is designed hex shaped for a reason. All our competitors are round shafts, like a finger, and they'll spin, especially when you put pressure on them. These will not. These are industrial grade polishing tools. They're made of viscose felt. They do not tear up like uh, foam or anything like that. They're washable. This buffer has this shroud built into it that you can close up. So when you put in a wash machine, it's not going to ruin the machine itself. So it protects it. Plus, when you put this on a drill, it also protects the drill shroud from scratching anything. Again, these are very fluffy, so they bring in air. And one of the things I'm going to show you as you use this buffer, this buffer is going to get into areas you can't normally get into very easily. And on this stanchion here is probably the best example. I'm just going to hold this up because, of course, we're not on a regular bolt right now, but when you're doing something like this, you're smearing your flitz on top either with a finger or a rag. Some people dab it in, take a paintbrush, put it on different ways. Take your buffer to it and work it like a railroad car. Work at slow speed first to apply it, like I'm doing right here. Once you apply it, you can actually do it from the other side here too. Now you can see what I mean by a railroad car, how it works. You're actually cleaning half the rail at one time. We actually sell it like this for cruise ships, for hotels, casinos, they do all kinds of railings and things with it. Now the faster you run, the better job it'll do. And you'll see, in a couple seconds, how fast it brings that rail back. It's like a mirror. 
So it's not much work involved. And when you have hundreds of feet of railing, it's a lot easier using the buffer. Definitely makes a lot less work. You see some of the dust floating around in here. This happens to be a brand new buffer. So you get a little more lint in it and things like that. Once it's washed or used a little bit, you're not going to get any more lint. But the fact is, it just is a super job of bringing it back. Not just for stainless steel, for chrome, whatever you like. I'm going to take a dry cloth here, wipe it off one more time, and you're done. So that's an example on stainless steel. And that could be, again, like I said, polished stainless. It could be a brushed stainless steel. It could be anodized aluminum. And this is definitely safe on anodized finishes. Very, very few products you'll notice when you read a labeling what they're safe on. One thing about flits, it's safe on all finishes. And I should say all metal finishes. I mean, it's not a miracle worker, but this has a, what they call USDA authorization. What that means is it's safe to use on food areas like in kitchens and countertops and cookware and things like that. I'm not saying you should eat it, but the product is actually very, very safe. And all our products I'm going to show you today are environment friendly. We're a very green friendly company and uh, the products we make represent that. Now, when you're doing chrome, like a cleat like this, again, very simple idea. And of course, I'm holding my hand right now, but the buffer, as you can see, covers the entire cleat just a couple seconds. You get between the screws and everything like that. It doesn't harm anything. It actually polishes the fiberglass right around it the same way. So it just makes your job super easy when you're trying to do large areas. And these buffers, by the way, you can buy them through different retailers and things and online, but they come in different sizes. This is a seven inch buffer, one of the biggest ones we make. We make this in a five inch, make it in a three inch, and we make it in a two inch like this. The two inch buffers are really unique, especially if you have fishing rods. I should say rod holders, I should say. If you ever try getting inside a rod holder with your toothbrush, get all the mold mildew out, well this tool gets right inside, gets right inside those railings, and you pull it right back out again. It just shrinks down to one inch in size. This little slot here, you can see that little spin, how they work like that in between them. So this ball is very, very unique. It has plastic around the shaft, so it doesn't scratch. But you can get inside the rocket launchers, you get inside your rod holders very, very easily, very quickly. It takes off any mold, mildew, oxidation comes off truly in 20, 30 seconds. So it's a very great tool to use for that. Also, on a boat, you have plastic, of course. Now, metal has always been a big thing for flits, but we have fiberglass, we have plexiglass, we have acrylics, icing glass, many different things. Let me move my props around here a little bit here and show you an example. This is a Bomar hatch. They're made of Lexon type material, very durable. But when you're on top of a boat, everybody walks on your boat, if you even have deck shoes, you're getting little scratches. People scuff them up that way. I'm pretty anal that way, don't like that, but then most boaters do want to clean, especially something see-through like this. Now, when you're using this on a hatch cover or whatever you have, let me just take a little cloth here. I'm going to dab it in here. I'll kind of show it how I do it at home, myself, my own boat. Kind of push it on so it doesn't take that much. And by the way, you don't want to overuse flits. You can use a lot more. I hope you do. It makes me more money. You'll buy more polish. But the bad part is, when you use too much polish, it just takes too much work. You're smearing it. You're rubbing it all over the place. Use a small amount, especially with a buffer like this, because they absorb the polish and it becomes impregnated and just keeps on working for you. Now, for years before we made buffers, we only did it by hand. As I said before, Flit's a 45-year-old company and polishing it was always done by hand at that time. Now the buffer balls have made a big difference. But I want to show you that you can do this by hand or with a wheel, that's up to you. The good thing is, the polish, as I said earlier, has a very, very fine rouge in it between a four and five thousand grit and I'm taking it and I'm making it clear again so I can take the oxidation off you see it here in this my bamboo cloth and I bring it out to a mirror finish now what I'm trying to show you is if you have oxidation from the sun if you have scuff marks eddy chalking salt spray Everything like that, let's face it, even when there's salt spray on there, people wipe it down, you wipe the salt and it actually leaves little scuff marks behind. This is fantastic for taking care of problems. Even if you had a problem like a scratch. Now this is not something everybody does every day, but I'm going to take... Oh, let me just do this. I'm going to take something sharper here. I'm going to take my cleat. And I'm going to not scratch, but scuff this plastic. And hopefully the cameraman can see it here, what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to give an example. 
There you go. You can see it, how you get a scuff mark like that. Now, a scratch is deep. And when you have a scratch in something, you have to sand it out. Now you can take, this is a 2000 grit Merca sandpaper type pad. Take a little water with it. And you can actually wet sand the plastic. And what you're doing, you're actually gonna wear down a very, very light layer of plastic. And you're gonna make a level playing field. The best way to example is this. And I'll show you with my finger here. If you had a divot or a scratch in something, it's a divot like this. Now the idea with the sanding disc is to take this divot and bring it down to a level playing field. In other words, basically sand it down so you have a level finish. When you're all down, down to a level finish, you're gonna have a smooth finish, but what you're gonna end up with is a little scuff, not a scuffing like this here from the sandpaper. You can see that right here in the plastic. Now, that's not a problem. Again, this was done because this is a 2,000 grit sandpaper. This is a four to 5,000 grit. It's much, much finer. So again, it's like a rouge. So I'm not gonna take a little polish to it. And again, I'm gonna do this by hand just to prove to you that you can bring it out by hand. We'll take a microfiber. These, by the way, are super thick and super soft, the ones we have. The Flitz ones have like a terry towel in the back side of it, and they're a smooth side like this for glass and plastic. So when you put this on, if you can do it, you can use our microfibers. Now you put pressure on this. Again, it's not magic. And with the buff balls, it's going to be much faster. But I want to show you how I can bring this Bomar piece back to a brand new finish. Now I have to say, we are blessed not only from years of doing shows, but so many manufacturers like Bomar, both companies like Cobalt. Grady White is a good example. Grady White is part of the oldest companies that have been putting flits in every Grady White boat that they manufacture. Now they do it, not that they want to give away flits because it costs them money, but they want to recommend the best product to take care of something when the boat is in use. Because let's face it, you're using salt water, oxidation, different things like that. But look how that scuff mark came out with just a polish by hand. And that's the point I'm trying to make. You can actually take and fix problems when we sell flits to boat manufacturers like Sea Ray and other people like this, they buy flits to take care of issues. Because many times when you're making a boat, somebody slips with a screwdriver or something happens and you get a scuff mark on here. What a great way of taking care of it. Now I'm gonna do this now with a buffer. I've been a little more generous, put a little more flits on top of here. Take the buff ball as we have it. Let me set this down so I can do it nice and clean. I'm going to go slow with it first just to apply it. And once I've applied it, turn around the entire piece here, then I'll give more speed to it. And you'll see within one minute to one and a half minutes, you know I'm getting a lot of dust off in here. All the plastic and the plexiglass comes right back to life. And when you put this on, I put pressure on it. The drill is, of course, doing all the rubbing and it'll work, which is what you want to use. Do this by hand, it'll take a lot longer. But the cool thing is, I'm not burning the paint, I'm not burning the metal around it, the anodizing. It's safe on the aluminum, the chrome. As I buff this out. Now we have finished product. Now I'm going to take a microfiber and wipe it off. But what I'm going to wipe it off with is not just a microfiber. I'm going to take what we call our Speedy Seal. And Speedy Seal, just so you know, is a detailer spray. It's a diluted well, thinned out is probably the best way to say it. Thinned out ceramic sealant. For those of you who bought a new car lately, ceramic sealants are the biggest hay, uh, raise, I should say, in car paint. Most dealerships charge anywhere from $1,000 to $2,000 applied on a vehicle. Boats, same thing. You can buy a ceramic finish on boats, which will cost you anywhere from two dollars to $8,000 for application. Now, these products are great. They work phenomenal. They hold up a long time. This product here is a thinned out version, so you can use it at home yourself. You just simply spray it on, and you wipe it off. Now that's good for plastics, acrylics, fiberglass, whatever you do, 
it not only brings it out to a beautiful finish, it protects it. You'll see how the bottle slides like this. It's just super, super easy. And this protective coating is good for a minimum of two to three months as a detail spray. Now, if you want it to last longer than that, especially because the sun, for those of you in Florida especially, we do make the ceramic sealant in a more concentrated version. This is your true ceramic coating, which will last anywhere from six months to a year. And this product here, you can simply spray it in boat on. This bottle is a 16 ounce bottle. They come also in eight ounce bottles, 32 ounce gallons. But a 16 ounce bottle like this will do at least a 28 to 31 foot boat one time. But I'm talking all the fiberglass, your bright work, your ice glass, etc. When you put this on, again, spray on and wipe off. It does take two days to cure. Now, it's fantastic if it stays dry for two days. That's not always possible in the boating industry, but if you can, it works the very best. Because in two, three days from now, when that dries, it dries super, super hard. It's like putting glass on your paint. And this is fantastic on a hatch cover like this, on fiberglass, plastic glass, plexiglass, and so on. Now, wooden boats, while we're on this, best example. A wooden boat will have anything from anywhere from four, sometimes to eight layers of hand laid varnish. People that have wooden boats are super, super anal because it's their love. It's something that takes a lot of time and energy. They even sand it down, repolish it, etc. But the sealant is a phenomenal product on a wooden finish like this because you can just use this on any covered wood. We sell from anything from a, a gun stock that's wood to the burrow wood inside of a Mercedes Benz to the wood on an antique boat. And this is something you put simply put on, wipe off, and you can get a minimum of six months to a year out of it. And these boats usually don't see bad weather because they're, they're, they're baby. But what a finish, what a shine. And I know we're in a studio over here, but to give you an example like this, that luster is phenomenal. And I know I can feel how slick it is. I know you can't, unfortunately. But if you check with our 800 number or you check with customer service, or if you even blog us, it's amazing how many people brag about Flitz. If you go to any of the boat clubs, especially antique boat clubs, ask them about Flitz products. I would say 99% of people have used our products, and I am very proud to say that hopefully 98% or more love our products. We have a lot of great reviews on all the different things. Now, the last and final piece of fiberglass I have here is really, really bad. Now, when you're doing fiberglass and plexiglass, there's mold, there's mildew. You can see how thick this piece is when it was cut out of a boat. But gel coat is what they refer to. A gel coat is really fiberglass, but gel coat is a, it's a official word, but fiberglass is, comes in layers. And the best way to, exam, uh, to explain, I call layman's terms, the gel coat is like varnish. It's like varnish over the boat. And over time, the varnish will tend to basically discolor from heat, from the sun, chemicals, suntan lotions, etc. Especially when not maintained like this boat was here. So when it comes to this bad, you need something that's going to bring it back. Let me put some of these props down here and show you. Again, the Flitz is a restore. And I'm going back to the original Flitz product because this will take something nasty like this piece here and bring it back to life. Now when I put this on, I'm covering up the fiberglass. If you notice, I'm not going to leave it sit here a long time. Flitz is not a product that you have to let penetrate. In some cases, it never hurts. I mean, you can always let it penetrate for 5-10 minutes if you want to, but it's really not necessary. But Flitz works like a rouge. And it's not a rubbing compound. It's not abrasive like rubbing compound because you're looking at only a four to 5,000 grit here. It's super, super soft. Not like years ago, as we remember at my age too, you always compound the car. You can actually take the paint the color of the paint was always in a rag. Now I'm going to do this with a buffer to show you how fast it is in putting this on like this. And you go slow speed first so it doesn't spit. As you apply it, it comes on real thin. Now when you're doing large areas, especially like some of these boats over here in my background, just watch how you can take that and bring all that fiberglass back to life in seconds. Now again I apply it, I go very slow because this is really, really a nasty piece, but you'll see in seconds here, I'm taking something that's bad, 
and brought it back. Now, I'm gonna do this a little better again and do it even a little better, but the fact is, that was 15 seconds. And this is really, really bad. This is worse than most both people would ever have. So when you wanna bring back something in your marine care, apply little flits, right, even right on angles like this, like this. Because one thing about this buffer, it contours to what you're doing. And I'm gonna turn this around so you can see it right away. And as it contours, it fits in all the nooks and crannies. The good example is here, let me turn this around for the camera person to see this. I'm gonna go slow again, speed, so apply it. Once I've applied it, I'm gonna start bringing it back like this. Now when you do large areas, oops, excuse me, lost a little touch there. When you do large areas, put a little pressure on it. That way you can thread it between there. As you're doing it, now right in the edges over here, excuse me, full of fuzz. Again, this ball was brand new. Whoever did this before didn't, I call it delint de it. We usually run it on something sharp, so it delints it. But here you can see the difference in how it's done. Now I'm going to take a little flitz, put it by hand, and I'm going to take care of this edge because there's mold in here or some heavy black oxidation that's not coming off real easily. I take my microfiber and I work it by hand and I make sure I take all that off 100% like this. You know, again, Flitz is not a miracle worker, but it's gonna do an unbelievable job of bringing back that gel coat to, I would say, a pretty new condition. It really is. It's very, it's fantastic. I'm sure this boat was at least 20 some 30 years old. And you'll see from these other boats that we're doing here, Look at the difference. I mean, it's a major, major difference. Now, people always ask me, that's great, Oli. Love that stuff. Brought it all back, but how do I keep it up? Well, I said, flits last for two to three months in a saltwater environment. We guarantee it. But it's meant to protect your metal and your, I call it hard surfaces, um, your, your bright work. But when it comes to fiberglass, plastics, and paint, we definitely recommend the ceramic sealant. It's going to give you a much longer, much harder protective coating. It lasts anywhere from six to nine months, up to a year really, but around six to nine months of salt water because in the sun and the salt water and all the elements makes it a lot worse. Spray it on like water, wipe it off, it's that simple. This protective coating does take, as I said earlier, two to three months to cure. Not two to three months, I'm sorry, two to three days. That's what happens if you drink Baker's Mark all day, so you start getting funny. Anyways, in all seriousness, does an excellent job on your, on your fiberglass, your plastics. You can see a difference, you can feel a difference, but everything we sell is 100% money back guarantee. And I really mean that. I mean, we're a small 20 person company. We take care of our customers, but we stand behind everything that way. The Flitz products are phenomenal. They work excellent. One of the biggest questions we get at boat shows it's not, for, fiberglass is a big issue, but Isinglass. Isinglass, of course, are for plastic windows. This is a good example on Isinglass. You got yellowing from the sun. You have oxidation from salt. This piece is something we got out of Florida in an old boat, and we do very small sections on here because we don't want to do the whole thing because it's hard to find these pieces and help to show people how to restore. But I want to give you an example with the flitz polish, how easy it is. You're basically smeared on top of plastic. You don't do anything special to it. You don't let it dry or anything like that. You take it off right away. But I'm gonna put it down flat. The key to icing glass like this is to put it flat on carpeting. So you have something you can press against. Because if you put it on a boat, as we all know, the boat is suspended and it bends. This way here, this is a nice, nice flat finish here. I'm gonna take a flitz microfiber. Put the microfiber down first. So now when I put the icing glass on top, it's not going to scratch the backside. Now, as I put on here before, you see the camera I can get it, I put the flitz polish right here in the center. I'm just going to add a little bit here to it. It's been sitting there a little bit. And the cool thing is I'm going to use a buffer. Now, again, as I was mentioning earlier, we make different size buffers. We make seven inches, five inches, three inches, two inches. For a job like this, you want to use a seven inch buffer. You want to use the biggest one you can. For the biggest reason is this, it's fluffy. When it's fluffy, it brings in air. As it brings in air, it's cooling. Cooling is very important on icing glass because you can melt icing glass in seconds. You can melt the gel coat on your boat in seconds. This buffer doesn't get hot enough. 
that doesn't even burn, burn my skin. So the traditional buffer, you never use a hold with the speed on your hand. But this buffer is fantastic that way because it's flexible, soft. Put a little pressure to it. Again, slow speed as I'm doing. And then there's a lot of little speed to it. Move around. You can restore that plastic window. You can restore like your gauges, all your temperature gauges, anything from the sun. Look at that, how it took the yellowing like that before and after. It's just, it really is an unbelievable product. It's, it, it does what it's supposed to do. Now again, to protect this piece, you want to use a sealant, because it's again a ceramic finish. It's like putting glass on top of the finish. Spray it on top, take a microfiber, wipe it down, and you get a nice protective finish out of it that way. And this is something that just gives it a preservative. I know I'm only into a small area over here, but I want to give you an example of the major before and after on the on icing glass. And you'll see some pictures here of how when we do large areas, how fast the buffer can do it to clean it up and then of course put the sealant on afterwards. During the boating season, if you want to use the Speedy Seal as your everyday cleanup, feel free to. It does a great job. It does an excellent job cleaning for you. Now, plastics and different things, these are of course the major things we sell flits for. I do have a brass piece here, of course a nautical piece is more for decoration. Not that the brass bronzes or bronze props are uh, very popular nowadays anymore, but if you have a piece that you have try to collect, try to do something fun with, you can do two, two, two different things. The Flitz products, we come a different price. We have a product here called Calcium Lime and Rush Remover. This product is designed for nasty stuff, taking off real heavy rust corrosion around your props, lower, your lower units. Watch when I spray this on this old engine here. I have to live here in Wisconsin. Now Wisconsin has great water, beautiful water, but it's very hard. Our lakes have very hard water. When you run an engine for two, three weeks, you get water stains on it, you can't get off. You gotta rub like a bugger to get those things off. This calcium rust remover and lime remover, it works so fast, you simply spray it on, if you like to let it penetrate, you can. I usually take a brush or some kind of nylon to agitate it. And as you agitate it, you get it all clean. Then you take a clean or a garden hose or a spray water like this and spray it down with fresh water. That's only one thing with this calcium lime remover. You have to rinse it. If you don't rinse it, it becomes corrosive. It's made of salt, very high concentrated salt. So it works on that principle of acid, but it's not. And you can see how it just melts off all the calcium and lime. It does an unbelievable job. Now, besides doing that, you can actually use the same product on a propeller like this to clean it. Now this propeller is made of brass, so it's antique. It's not super dirty, but I'm gonna spray a little bit on here. It works better when you open the bottle, I guess. You spray it on. And once you spray it, take it with your fingers or brush, agitate it. And as you take it off, it just starts melting the tarnish and oxidation off that fast. Now once you do that, I'll take a little water here and I rinse it. Let me put my paper here to absorb the water. But as I rinse it, that's the key. As soon as I rinse it, it stops working. You take all the chemical off that way and it does not become corrosive anymore. Now, it's basically shiny. I wouldn't say polished, by no means. But it looks pretty good. Probably from the camera there, when you're sitting there from the angle, you said, oh man, that's pretty good, that's pretty bright. I'll show you what bright really is. Wait till I get this, this done here. I'm gonna take a little flitz, pop a little bit on here, Take my buffer to it, and again, I'm going to slow speed first to apply it. I can do this by hand or with the buffer. You don't have to use a buffer. This is the faster way of doing it, though. In a couple of seconds, you're going to see the brass. Whoops, I just slipped it a little bit. This brass, how shiny the brass comes right out. Look at that. That's a brand new finish. And it was very, very simple. Now I used the calcium lime rust remover to take off nasty stuff like hard tarnish. Like I said, this is used for taking off things to restore it. It's been outside and left alone for a long time. The polish, the Flitz polish is a restoration product. And once Flitz polishes it like this, it gives the same protective stanchions, your cleats. It gives you a mercury type finish on here. 
This coating is good for two to three months in salt water and four to five in fresh water. It's not gonna last forever, but it sure beats doing it all the time, especially if you're using this for decoration in your home or exterior outside. It's just a great job protecting it. Number one problem, of course, is we all know is fingerprints. Things are touch shiny, everyone wants to touch them. You'll still get a fingerprint like this. You can't avoid the fingerprint. It's gonna get on the copper brass like that, but you can take a damp rag. I'll take this little water here the microfiber and just wipe it right off. In other words, it's very easy to take off fingerprints in oxidation that way. Flitz cleans, polishes, and protects all at one time. Check us out at flitz.com. You can buy us through West Marine and all your marine, your major marine retailers. Um, you can go online, you can check us out on there. If you call us at the factory or email us, we have a great customer service and we do believe in our products. Thanks again for joining me. Thanks so much for checking out the video. If you like what you saw, hit the like button and subscribe. Also, you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram too. Remember, flitz it.